So the last time Iron Banner came around, I had the opportunity to pick up the Point of the Stag, the new pinnacle weapon for the Iron Banner questline. And there's a lot of controversy about this type of weapon, like bows in general. And a lot of people were upset that this was released as the pinnacle weapon because, you know, well, bows aren't good in PvP. But I... I actually took it into the competitive playlist because I was trying to do the Rat King only Road to Legend challenge. Very difficult. Would not recommend Rat King. It's not that competitive of a weapon. But I paired the bow with it. And let me tell you, I think bows get a much worse treatment than they actually deserve. So in this video, I'm going to defend bows as a viable weapon type in this PvP sandbox. Now you may be wondering why you should listen to me at all. So let me provide a couple background stats about myself. I am a solidly average PvP player in Destiny 2. I have a just barely positive KD and about a 1.4 KDA. So nothing incredible there, but I have managed to go unbroken. And this was very difficult. It, you know, solo queued the whole time. It's just, it's not an easy feat. So I have a decent amount of experience in the PvP scene of Destiny 2 in the Crucible. So this amount of experience has given me a lot of time to get to know the game and to sort of tell what, what the best tips and strategies are going to be for your average PvP player because that's what I am, a thoroughly average PvP guy. All right, now down to business. My time using the point of the stag in the competitive playlist sort of gave me an opinion on bows in general that is kind of contrary to what a lot of people think about bows in the current meta. And I think most complaints about bows can be narrowed down to three general opinions. The first is that bows are not good primary weapons. The second is that there is nothing that a bow could do that a sniper could not do better. And the third is that bows are not top tier weapons. I'm going to challenge each one of these statements in order, starting with bows are not good primary weapons. If we're judging by time to kill, then no, bows are not good weapons in PvP. In fact, I think they have one of the slowest time to kills in the entire game. So you will lose most of your straight up one-on-ones if it's just between you and another weapon in an open area shooting at each other you're probably going to lose if you have a bow but the truth is that most crucible matches do not consist of you sitting in the middle of an open field shooting at another guy who's sitting in the middle of an open field destiny 2 is a team-based shooter with a lot of cover options this means you are supposed to work with your teammates to secure the objective whatever the game mode is, survival, control, supremacy, whatever. You are supposed to work with your teammates. And when you consider the fact that you are working with other people in these game types, the bows become significantly better because they are assist getting machines. I am serious. With like 140 something to the head and 90 something to the body, if you roll up with another teammate who's got an auto rifle or a hand cannon, the time to kill for any enemy drops significantly. And also, since bows do so much damage with a single hit, it makes peak shotting very effective because you can just load up an arrow, peak shoot, and then repeat as many times as necessary. If you look at Destiny 2 primarily as a team-based shooter and not as some place to show off your individual fragging skills, and you realize the amount of cover present on most maps, bows take a much different light than just their TTK, just their time to kill. They become significantly better when you consider these other factors. Next complaint. There's nothing that a bow can do that a sniper cannot do better. Sorry I'm tashed, but I just can't agree with you there. Since bows are a primary weapon, they have a much larger ammo reserve than a sniper rifle does. 
This is especially useful because it allows players to more effectively shut down lanes. This is especially true for players whose aim might not be as good with a sniper rifle, who might not always be hitting those headshots. If you have a bow, you have a lot of ammo that you can use to just keep people out of a lane. They get tagged, they get spooked, they don't peek that area again. If they do, great. You hit them again with an arrow and they're punished, they're dead. It's your second shot, it's over. You can't do that with a sniper. With a sniper, you have two shots, you start off with two shots, and then if you miss those two shots, then your magazine's empty. If you didn't get a kill, then you're gonna have to wait for more special ammo to pick up. It's not as easy to shut down lanes as it is with a bow. Even besides that, bows also have a smaller zoom size on their scope. And I'm not sure about this, but I think they have a little bit better aim assist too. So you will have an easier time hitting two shots with a bow than you will two shots with a sniper. Basically what I'm saying is it requires less skill to hit two shots with a bow than it takes to hit one headshot with a sniper. At least that's been my experience. I have noticed myself trying significantly harder when I use a sniper as opposed to when I use a bow. One other advantage bows have over snipers, in air accuracy. This means that you can jump and hit a shot with a bow much more often than you can jump and hit a shot with a sniper. This isn't cool just for the fact that you get cool air shots for the montage. It's also good because when a sniper is holding down a lane, you can jump into that lane. And because most snipers are already looking at head level, you will not be going right into their crosshairs. Instead, they're going to have to readjust to find your head, by which time, Half their health is already gone, if not more. And by that point, they're either going to run because half their health is gone and they don't want to challenge that anymore, or they're going to have a second arrow in them and they're going to be dead. Bows can challenge snipers in sniper lanes better than even other snipers can. All right, the last complaint is that bows are not top tier weapons. And to this, I would say, you're right. I never claimed that they were top tier weapons, I just claimed that they got a much worse rap than they actually deserve. If I tried to take a bow into trials, I would get my butt handed back to me on a silver platter. And that's because bows are not top tier weapons. They can't compete with good players who are using spare rations, or a hard light, or a Suros, or any of the other auto rifles in this meta. Anyway, the point is, is that it's true. Bows are not top tier weapons. But to be fair, not a lot of players are top tier players, and this actually ends up giving bows a lot of advantages in PvP. Most players will peak twice even if their health is low, and bows are really good at punishing this. There's, as far as I know, no telltale lens flare when you pull a bow back and it's drawn and ready to fire. So most players aren't expecting a huge chunk of their health to just be gone like that if there hasn't been a lens flare for them to see. If they see a sniper rifle, they slide, they stay out of the lane. But if they don't, and then there's just a huge chunk of their health missing from your bow shot, then they just get spooked and that scares them. And it just enables an easy, easy cleanup for your teammates. And if you're an average player, you know, you're not some true Vanguard or Frostbolt, then bows encourage you and reward you for playing as a team with your team, which is, how you're going to do well as an average player and bows reward you for playing this way so no bows are not a top tier weapon but they are a viable option as an alternative way to play the game because it encourages you to play as a team to play with team fire and most players will not be used to playing in a way that is effective in countering intelligent bow players now, one last complaint I would like to address is that all bows feel the same. You know, there's no difference from you using this, this new pinnacle weapon, the point of the stag, or from you using a subtle calamity or any other of the legendary bows. There's no difference between them. And this is a pretty valid complaint. I tried using a subtle calamity, but I didn't really notice that much of a difference from the point of the stag, so I just sort of stuck with the pinnacle weapon. Anyway, I agree that bows and their different archetypes could use some changes. They could use a little uh, difference between them. I think if you're going to change bows, you need to not change them in the way that you would change other weapons. 
But any changes or buffs made to bows need to focus on the unique aspects of the bow playstyle. So maybe this includes changing how perks like Archer's Tempo affect draw time to punish people who peak lanes more than twice if there's a bow user trying to lock down that lane, or in-air accuracy perks that are intrinsic to the bow, or perks that specifically encourage the team fire aspect of using a bow. So like bows that get increased perks if you're surrounded by your teammates, like faster draw time, maybe increased damage but only when you are surrounded by teammates, sort of like a Rat King effect. If there are going to be buffs to bows, I think they need to be sort of in that direction. And I think if you have different archetypes that encourage different types of play, like one archetype that encourages inner accuracy, one archetype that encourages holding down lanes, one archetype that encourages team fire, like those three different aspects of bow usage and each one of those bows excels more at one of those types than the other, I think that would be a good way to provide a little bit of individuality to each of the different bow archetypes. Anyway, the conclusion I want to drive home, the whole point of this video is that no bows are not something you want to take into trials, not unless you're up for the extra challenge. But in most other activities, for the average player, Bows are going to be completely viable, and even a fun alternative way to play the game different from what you would normally experience. Please leave a comment down below. If you agreed with me, let me know. If you disagree with me, let me know. I want to know what your thoughts on bows are. Please keep it clean though. <laughs> anyway, I would like to thank you for taking time out of your valuable day to listen to what I have to say. And whether you agree or disagree with me, I wish you the best of luck in the crucible and happy hunting.